Hey guys, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and this is a quick tip video for Unity on how to create a camera orbiting system. What I mean by this is something like what you might see in, say, a game SimCity, for example, where you have a view and you can hit a button to kind of uh, move the camera around. In SimCity, it's usually, I think, 90 degrees, so that you can see the scene from different angles, but all the while, the camera is kind of almost orbiting like the Earth would orbit the sun um, and always looking at the point that you want to be looking at. And to do that, it seems like there's kind of a lot of kind of math to figure out. You've got to figure out how to move around the circle and then you've got to turn the object properly um, opposite the direction in the opposite direction so that it's still pointing, looking at the same point. Fortunately, Unity has a, a couple of functions that make this very easy for us to do. We're also going to look, in addition to moving left and right, at looking up and down, which has another kind of a little gotcha in it, and so I wanted to share that as well here. This was actually uh, requested by one of our viewers, and I had actually kind of been grappling with this a few months back, so I wanted to share it. Um, so hopefully, if any of you are trying to build this sort of a system, this helps you get it done a little bit quicker. So in order to start, um, just wanted to show, I did create this kind of a little city object here. It uh, doesn't you can certainly use whatever you would like. I would recommend that you make it a little bit asymmetrical, whether you have a couple of objects on a plane or something so that you can really tell that you're rotating around and it doesn't just look like the same thing from every angle. Secondly, um, I've just moved my camera a little bit closer to the uh, scene that I'm in. I think it usually starts at like 1 and negative 10. I've moved the camera up a little bit and in a little bit as well as tilting it down um, by 15 degrees. And this is kind of personal preference. The, uh, the viewer who requested it wanted to move the camera um, 15 degree increments up and down, so that's why I chose that. But you can certainly start it wherever you would like. This is just what's working well for me right now. That's sort of a part you'll have to figure out based on the size of your scene and how much you want to be orbiting around it. So now that we've got all that built in here, we can um, actually start getting into the scripting of how to move this camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a C-sharp script, and we're going to call it Camera Orbit. We're also going to create a second script. This will be a quick one called Input Manager. And that's just going to be uh, so that we're keeping kind of our functions separate from our inputs. And so I'm going to drag both of these onto our main camera right now. You would probably have a separate game object for your input manager, but for our purposes here, this will be a little bit quicker. Uh, oh, I, sorry, I had some old components on here before. And make sure you're yeah, keeping the rest of your camera stuff here. And then now we have camera orbit and input manager. I'm going to open up camera orbit in mono develop. I'm also going to open up Input Manager, but we're not going to get to that for just a minute here. So in Camera Orbit, we don't need Start or Update. We are going to add a couple of quick variables, though. I'm going to add a transform called Target, and this is going to be what tells us what to look at or what, and what to orbit around. Secondly, we're just going to add um, how much we want to move by. Like I said, we want to move left and right by 45 degrees and up and down by 15 degrees. Um, perfectly arbitrary numbers though, you can um, certainly set them to whatever you would like for the purposes of your game. So I'm going to create a public float called Horiz move, uh, lowercase that, Horiz move equals 45 and a second, uh, helps if I could type today, vert move set to 15. Now we're going to have two functions. The first one is going to be public void move horizontal. I want to make sure it's public because we're going to eventually want our input manager to call it. And inside of our parameters here, we are going to add one parameter and we're going to call it bool left. And the reason for that is that we're going to either be moving left or right when we're moving horizontal and we're going to need to do a little bit of uh, math adjustment based on that, and that's going to help us do that. So, as I was saying, there's a helpful function in Unity, and that's called rotate around. And what that does is it solves all the math for you of where to move along the circle and which way to be looking. And it extends from a transform, and in this case, the transform that we're moving is our actual camera's transform. 
we're going to be moving that around the circle. So we're just going to call transform because this component is on our camera and then just say rotate around. Now rotate around asks you for three things. What point am I rotating around? What axis am I rotating on? And how far am I moving? So for the point, what we want is that, that uh, in, the, in my case here, our city scene. But really, you could, you could set it to just the origin. You could set it to 0, 0, 0. You could set it to really the position of any object you want. That's why I'm using this target here. So I'm just going to say target.position. Next, we need the axis. And we're starting to lose a little bit of room here. So I'm going to maximize our mono, mono develop. So the axis you want. In the case of moving horizontally, we just want that straight up and down axis. It's almost like you're just kind of going around a pole, uh, walking around a flagpole, say. And so we're just going to say vector 3 dot up. And lastly, we need the angle, which we've already set as our horiz move for moving horizontally. So we're just going to copy and paste that in there. And that gives us all of our information to rotate around. Right now, though, we're only going to be rotating clockwise. Um, the amount you move is always clockwise. So if we want to move left, that works fine for us because we're going to be moving left around the scene. However, if we want to move right, we need to reverse that direction. And that's why we have this bool up here. We're going to say float direction, or just dir, equals 1. And then we would just want to say if we're not moving left, reverse that. So pretty simple. We'll say if not left. And it's just going to be a single line, so we don't actually have to bracket this. And say dear times equals negative 1. So if it's left, it's just going to stay as 1. And if it's not left, if it's right, it's going to basically become the inverse. It's going to become negative. And now what we can do is just simply multiply horizontal move by that direction. And that will handle um, whether we're moving left or right. So that's all we need for this one. Now we can copy this, paste it, and we're going to create a new script called move, or a new function, sorry, called move vertical. Change the uh, bool parameter to up instead of left because now we're moving up and down. And we're going to change horiz move to vertical move, or vert move, as we called it up here. Last we, we need to, why is that still red? I think that's just being. Something is being a little bit funky there. Hopefully that will resolve itself in a second here. There we go. No, no, something. Why doesn't it think it exists? Oh, because I called it vert mode. Haha. Uh -huh. There we go. Vert move. Times direction. Now we no longer want this to be the vector straight up and down. What we want it to be is the left to right axis. Like you're nodding your head. It's kind of if you nod your head up and down, you it's sort of on this axis that goes straight from your left ear to your right ear. However, we can't just say vector 3 right to get that axis because that's the world's x-axis, which isn't always where we want to be. As we're rotating around this circle, it's really the local x-axis of the camera. Fortunately, there's a really easy way to get that too, again extending from a transform. So we're just going to call the camera's transform again, and we're going to say dot transform direction. And what this does is it gets the direction, it gets that vector 3, from the local, from this local transform, which is our camera right now. And all we need to tell it is which particular direction are we looking for. So we're looking for the x-axis, which is we can get by going vector 3 dot right. And so that means that no matter what position and no matter how we're turned in the scene, we'll always get our x-axis so that we're going to be rotating properly. And with that, we actually have everything we need now. To move our camera around. Unfortunately what we don't have is a way to tell our camera to move around which is why we have our input manager. First thing we need to give our input manager is a reference to this camera orbit script so that we can call these move horizontal and move vertical. Now because they're sharing a game object right now we put both of these on the camera we can do this very easily. We can give it first a variable called camera orbit we'll just call it cam and then when we start we can just say cam equals get component camera orbit. So it'll get that camera orbit component that's on itself 
and say, oh, okay, this is Cam. And that now gives us access to these functions that we created. So now we just need to quickly tell this in update, if the player hits the button down to move left, right, up, or down, we should move in that direction. Also pretty easy to do. What we're gonna say is if input dot get key down, we're gonna give it the key code. We'll start with left arrow. So if we press the left arrow down in this frame, if a, you know if the push happened this very frame, move it once. We don't wanna use just get key because that will happen every single frame if we hold it down and that's gonna get way too fast, way too quick. So we'll just stick with get key down right now. And what we're going to say in here is if that's if we have pressed the left arrow, then cam dot move horizontal. And as we see again, bool is left. So if left is true, we'll move left, which is what we want when we press the left arrow. So we'll say move horizontal, true, true. Else, so if we're not pressing the left button down, we're gonna do something else. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this whole thing because we're gonna have a few of these. Else, if we press the right arrow, still moving horizontal, but in the opposite direction. So we're gonna make the true into false. We can copy this again. And now we're gonna say, else, if we hit the up arrow, now we're no longer moving horizontal, we're gonna be moving vertical, but it is gonna be true because vertical's uh, true is up. And then lastly, I'm gonna actually copy everything except for the else here, so all of this again, because this is the last option we have for these particular arrow buttons. If it's the down, down arrow, then moving vertical, but false. Click save. So now we should be able to go back to our scene. And when we hit play, when we hit left and right, we're gonna rotate left and right. I'm actually gonna move this up this way so you can see the camera moving around the scene here too. Pan it this way a little bit. And so if I hit play, go to our game scene, I hit left and right, and we, oh, I forgot an important item. We've got our camera, we've got these set, but we need to set that transform. So I'm going to drag our city scene right in there. So now we're going to be orbiting around this city. Hit play. Now if I hit left and right, if I hit left, we go clockwise around the scene. You can see the camera here moving clockwise. If I hit right, go counterclockwise. And now if we hit up, we should go start kind of arcing up over the scene, which we do. And if I hit down, we go back down. So that is how you create uh, some camera orbit controls. You can also do, you can do more obviously to finesse this, add some constraints. You could um, set up a coroutine so it kind of animates from position to position. But this is really just uh, to give you kind of a couple of really helpful functions that make it easy to orbit around and be positioned properly, as well as um, figure out that axis so that you can arc up and down, which can get a little bit funky otherwise if you're just trying to do it, um, you know, using, uh, using math and trig and all that to just kind of figure out your vectors. So hopefully this has helped you guys out if you're developing this kind of system, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.